I have been working in Peru with other colleagues for the past uh, about 15 years, doing uh, inventories in different locations in the lowlands, mountains, forests, and highlands in the Andes. Uh, we compiled a species list of the amphibians and reptiles, and we found that altogether there are 287 species, which is a record of uh, diversity of these uh, type of animals uh, for any protected area in the world. Mano National Park is a protected area in southern Peru. You have to travel to Lima, take a flight, then take another flight to Cusco, which is a, a city in the Andes. And then from Cusco, you uh, take a road. The first part is paved, the second part is a, a dirt road. And we just go through the forest and, you know, we set up different plots, which are areas where we survey for amphibians and reptiles. We use uh, leather gloves, we are on our knees or we are squatting and we are ser searching, digging through the grass, turning over trunks, uh, debris, everything, because a lot of these species are hiding underneath this, uh, you know, this uh, debris. When we find them in the field, a lot of them are just either hiding or they are sitting on top of a leaf or underneath the grass or in moss, searching for food or waiting for food. We have to dig sometimes four hours to find a single individual. Whenever we find a, any of these species, it's very exciting because we, we know they are there. Uh, we are assuming they are, they are still doing okay, and we always hope to find more. The specimens we bring back to Berkeley, we take a lot of measurements of the body size, the length of different uh, parts of the body and that's used to uh, tell species apart based on their different measurements. We take a small uh, piece of liver to do DNA analysis, and we use the DNA analysis to tell species apart, to confirm uh, or verify which species we have found in different locations in the park, and also to detect uh, potentially new species. This type of work is important because, for example, the government has been awarding a lot of uh, oil and gas concessions to international companies that are going to go and exploit uh, those resources uh, underground. They are affecting a lot of the areas of rainforests and also not only biodiversity but also indigenous people living in these areas. And we think it's important to inventory or catalog the species living there because knowing how diverse these areas are, then uh, people are going to pay attention and say, okay, these are worth preserving.